Once again, Mikey has something in mind. I think it's better to go and stop him. Why does Mikey always think something? What is it? Hmm. I wonder what Mikey is doing now. What is it? Is he building a large golem statue? Why is he doing it? Hmm. I think now I know what Mikey's doing. He's building a golem. Yep. And then he wants to drive this golem? I think it's a bad idea. Listen, Mikey, maybe you won't do this. I have a very bad feeling. I think this is all going to end badly. Don't worry, JJ. Everything will be fine. Look, JJ, pick up the potion downstairs and throw it in the golem so I can control it. Hmm. I just want to build a big golem and then drive it. You just imagine. I'm going to be driving a big golem. Although I'm going to have a little trouble driving a golem, but I think I can handle it. So, I understand you correctly, Mikey. You want me to throw this potion at you so you can be a big golem? Yep. You are sure that everything will be fine? Maybe this is not the best idea. Maybe it is better not to do this? <laughs> well, if that's what you want, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at me, JJ. You see how big I am. I'm huge. It's amazing. What? I've become a real giant. It's really hard for me to control this body. I thought it would be easier. Huh? Don't you see, Mikey? You've got a hole in your torso. Hmm. I knew it would end this way. We need to somehow get back to your old look. Okay, it's not that complicated, but I think I figured out how to control that body. Hmm. And you remember when you pushed me into the lava and I burned for you. Woohoo! Yep. Since you can't walk now, you have to take advantage of this situation. Good thing I have a bow and arrow and lava. Hmm. Well, how can I get back at you? I've always wanted to do that. And there's Mikey, so he's got a hole in his head. Hmm. And I can try to jump him and get revenge. Hmm. Although, no, I have a better idea. If I jump on it a lot that can go wrong, I better use lava. Hmm. He can't walk now. He's not used to this body. I'll just pour lava over his head. It's just a great revenge. Now he'll know I can't be thrown into lava. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it. I could pour lava on you, Mikey, but I can't tell you. I waited so long to get back at you, and I finally got it. It's so nice to see all this lava pouring over you. I wish I'd brought popcorn. Well, I seem to have figured out how to control this body. I'm getting there. I started walking a little. Uh-oh. Ouch! When I catch you, I don't even know what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to pour lava on you. <laughs> but first you have to catch up with me, Mikey. It's your fault. <laughs> you pushed me into the lava, you laughed, and I was in a lot of pain. By the way, when I fell into lava, Witch was able to save me, but I can't get out of bed for a week. <laughs> and you just laughed and didn't even apologize. Hmm, because it was funny, JJ. You laughed too. <laughs> yeah. And it still won't save you. You think you put a couple of blocks and I can't get to you. You set the traps. You know they won't help you. <laughs> JJ, you can run, but you can't hide. I'm gonna get you anyway. Hmm. When I find you, I'll push you back into the lava. He still hasn't left. I need to find another way out of here. If I just walk out of here, he noticed it. I need something. Sooner or later, he'll be able to get through the fence. Now he's not managing his new body well. Woohoo! Great! I could jump the fence. It was easier than I thought. You'd better get up now if you sit down and take my revenge on you. Uh-oh. What do you say, JJ? You just give up and you'll be fine. You can't run away. This house I know very well. I know there's no other way out of this house. <laughs> I'll never give up on you, Mikey. You can do whatever you want, but I'm not leaving this house. Hmm. <laughs> so it's you. Just don't say Super TNT. So we need to come up with an escape plan. How do I get out of here? Maybe I can break the toilet and go down the drain, but how do I break the toilet? What? Is that little zombie Mikey? He can do that. Hmm. And how can I beat him? He can call for help, and I am alone. I have to get out of here right now. If I just run out of here, hmm. he'll just catch up with me and throw me in lava. Maybe I should call someone to help because I don't have my phone on me. <laughs> I can summon an army of little golems. I almost destroyed this house. You can't run away. I know where you are. You're just delaying the inevitable. Uh-oh. 
There's an army of little zombies downstairs, and I can't beat them all. And even if I do, Mikey's gonna call in another army of these zombies. We need to find a way to get out of here. Hmm. That it's a carcass of bloody rain. Why all the trouble happens at the same time? I can't get caught in this rain if I do get caught in this rain, and it's gonna burn me. Hmm. How all the wrong timing. Although, maybe this rain will help me beat Mikey. Although, I think he does not care for this rain. We need to try and attack Mikey again. Last time I almost beat Mikey, I threw a bucket of lava at him. What am I going to do next? I need to come up with a plan. I wish I was as big as Mikey. <laughs> well, I found a cache of useful resources, and I think it's the rain that's causing the ghasts. Although, maybe I just thought I should be careful. Well, with this equipment, I at least have a chance. Hmm. And this armor suits me well. It's like it was made for me. So you should try to escape from here. Now the bloody rain is not terrible. Yeah. Because I'm in armor, the bloody rain can't reach me. Come on. Why does it not work? It used to work. I put on the armor, but I still get damage. I have to think of something else, and I wish I had an umbrella with me. Although, I think it would just melt in the rain. <gasps> Maybe you need to have armor on the whole body? Hmm. So what is it? It's three diamond blocks? I think it might be a trap, but I still want to try to get those blocks. Yeah. I need to paint the Kathy diamond blocks so I don't get raindrops on me. Or maybe Mikey got scared of the rain and just ran off with those diamond blocks. Well, I'm going to check it out, even though I think it's all one big trap. But I have to try and take these blocks for myself. <laughs> Excellent! I almost succeeded. A little more, and I will take these blocks for myself. How lucky I am that Mikey... What? <gasps> it's a good thing I have magic shoes, and I don't get hit by a fall. I need to get away from Mikey faster, and rain. <gasps> I knew it was a trap. I never should have gone near that diamond block. <laughs> I was starting to worry that I was going to die from this bloody rain. How lucky I was that this house was unlocked. So now I have to wait for Mikey. He saw where I'm going. Huh? So he's coming for me. How come this bloody rain didn't start in time? And why doesn't it dampen Mikey? Why am I the only one getting damaged from this rain? <laughs> you can't escape this little box. If you try to run, I'll run after you. And this time I'll catch you. Uh oh And here you are. Well, that raindrops burn your body. And my body is made of iron, so I do not care for this rain. You forget I have TNT. I can just blow you up with this box. Hmm. What do I have to do? I have to find a way out. I think I have a genius idea. I can dig a hole. And hide in it, Mikey will not even understand anything. We need to block the tunnel so Mikey doesn't understand anything. Great. Hmm. <laughs> I can't even believe I made it. He didn't see me. I think I need to dig a long tunnel and then get out. I need to come up with a plan to beat Mikey, but how can I do that? I can't beat Mikey. He's too strong. Maybe I can fool him or something. I wish I had my own golem. Okay, we have to get out of here. <laughs> Great, I'm right under the house. Oh no! There's little Mikey zombies. But it's not so scary. Now I'm armored so they can't hurt me. All that's left is your zombie Mikey. Still, it's not fair that he's got an army of assistants and he's still driving a big golem. <laughs> well, that was a little more complicated than I thought. I don't think I can beat Mikey. I just don't know how. Hmm. What is he doing? Why is he burying himself underground? If I'm honest, I don't understand anything at all. There's another little Mikey Golem, though. It's like a zombie, but who cares? Hmm. We need to understand why Mikey decided to bury underground. We have to go outside gently, but without the bloody rain hitting me. Hmm. <laughs> There's an Ender Pearl and a teleport staff, seems. Now I have an idea what I can do. I can get inside Mikey's head and throw out his big Golem. I need to go downstairs. I think that's where Mikey's base is, I think. For some reason, he decided to go downstairs. I have no other idea. <gasps> so Mikey is back already. <laughs> so even better, I just need to get into his heads, this Ender Pearl. It seems like nothing complicated. Here's my plan to get into the head of Ender Pearl and penetrate into the mind of Mikey Golem. <laughs> so all this time, 
You've been hiding in my house, JJ, but all this time I'm gonna catch you, and you can't run this time! Huh? What's going on? I did a great job. Now I'm in Mikey's Gollum's head, and here's Mikey. This is an unusual place. Now I'm gonna throw you out. Where did JJ go? The radar doesn't notice him. I don't know where he went, where he went. All right, we gotta keep looking for him, because I don't think he could have gone far. We need to get Mikey out of here, but first I need to beat him. I think this fight is gonna be tricky. So I'm Mike, you didn't expect to see me here? We need to get Mikey out of here, but first I need to beat him. I think this fight is gonna be tricky. Ouch! Here I am, Mikey. You didn't expect Ouch! me to be here? <laughs> I came here to beat you. I found you at your Ender Pearl house, and I got into your mind. <laughs> if you wanna live, put on a trampoline and fly away. Then I won't hit you with this sharp sword, and then I will destroy your golem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the Maquis don't bother me. I have to break this robot or golem, even though it's more robot than golem. Hmm. I need to destroy this golem, but how can I do that? There's hardly a big red button that says self-destruct. I think I need to search that head, see if I can find anything useful here. Well, I knew there'd be something useful here. There's so much TNT. I'll blow this golem's head off, then Mikey won't be able to control this golem. What a brilliant plan this is. Still, all genius is simple. <laughs> Great, now all I have to do is blow up that TNT and it's all legal and I can go home. I'll need to count the TNT and teleport out of here. So I'm glad I have the teleport staff. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I'm alive, honestly. I thought I was gonna die so I could teleport at the last second. I'm very lucky, and here I am with a golem, and he has no heads. Hey, Mikey, wake up! Stop sleeping! Look what I did to your golem! Now he's got no head! Now we're Mikey's even! <laughs> oh no! The golem's torso has come to life, but it doesn't have a head. Maybe that's why he went mad. I think he's got a bad cord. I can't call in why I'm so unlucky. I can't do it alone. Hmm. I need Mikey to wake up. Mikey had medicine chests in the house. What do all the chests are closed? I need to find the key. Why do we always get in trouble? Hmm. Maybe try to break the chest? No, it's not an option. You need to find the key. Maybe it's on the balcony. Great, he was lying on the balcony. How lucky I am that Mikey can't hide things. <laughs> now I have to open the chest and I hope it contains potions or something. <laughs> now I gotta get these potions and go to Mikey's. Hope they help. Uh-oh. I had plenty of room at the inventory. I didn't think I could carry those potions. Now I gotta go to Mikey's. So I hope he wakes up when I throw the potion at him. I hope this works because I can't beat a golem alone. <laughs> Woohoo! What's going on, JJ? What happened after I jumped out of the golem? What happened to my golem? Why doesn't he have a head and why does he walk? Don't tell me, JJ, you're blowing his head off? Oh! He has a spare chip in his torso, so he's running around destroying the village. Oh no! Why did you even put the chip destroyed the fireworks in this golem? Well, it doesn't matter. But what are you looking for, Mikey? Golem remote control or something? Now, with this minigun, I can easily destroy a golem. What a heavy minigun. It weighs 40 kilograms at least. <laughs> we have succeeded. We have saved the village. Although we are to blame for the fact that the village was under threat of destruction, but these are trifles. Listen, Mikey. Hmm. I have an idea. Maybe we can go get some ice cream. Oh. I'll buy you your favorite chocolate ice cream. 